still doing family with Bumi coming to you on African Entertainment Television. And we have been discussing putting your house in order. So, ma'am, what about young men that are not yet married? They may not have the desire to write to you, and they may even say, oh, I haven't a family yet to leave my property to. There is no rush. What do you say to them? I'll say to them that the, they may be wrong. Mm. Because for every young person, you have started to build your estate. Mm. By the way, an estate is not talking about uh, do Ade <laughs> estates or, you know, a bunch of buildings you know? uh, fenced around. No, yeah. no, that's not it. An estate comprises all your assets mm. and your liabilities. Mm. That's your estate. So you could have Titi Bile, Titi Ade Bile estate. Mm. So you have an estate. Everybody has an estate. Mm. As long as you're earning an income, you have an estate. Mm. Now, estate planning, which is a broad name for under which wheels, come. under which wheels come, mm -hmm. is broad. And it talks about, first of all, building your estate, you know, building it because you, you need to have something to leave behind. Yes. So building it, there are lots of information that everyone requires to know. So every young person should know. For instance, you don't eat with all your ten fingers, you know. Mm. Some people, as the money comes in, they're spending it. So it's part of estate planning to know that there's a place for investment. There's a place for savings. Mm. There's a place to know, okay, these are my expenditure, mm -hmm. minimizing expenditure, mm -hmm. being smart with it. So all of this information is necessary for everyone, including young people right from their teenage. Once they know that, then they know they can begin to build an estate with the right information. So young people are not excluded hmm. from estate planning. From estate planning. So what happens if I die without a will? That is a precarious situation. Dying without a will in Nigeria is like telling government, government, do what you want with my property. That's hmm. one. It could also be a recipe for disaster mm. in, the family. in the family. A lot of rancor and strife and trouble. And oh, and bitterness, enmity, mm. and so many other terrible things are usually the order of the day mm. when a person has not planned his estate. When, when you die without a will, you say the person has died intestate mm. without a will. Mm. For instance, I told you about a young man, well, he was 52 when he died. He died, and I'm sure he would have thought, oh, I have a monogamous marriage, mm. nobody to contest yeah, my property with yeah. me. But he was so, oh, I don't know whether he's listening or whether mm -hmm. he, he knows what's going on here on earth. But he would have been amazed mm -hmm. at what happened because it was his father who rose and said, everything belongs to me, everything wow. my son. Yes, everything my son worked for has to come to me. Wow. I sent him to school. I wow. trained him. Everything comes to me. Wow. Leaving his wife and his children, children out of it. Wow. So there was a lot of issue. And that keeps replaying. I see this on the average every month, every month, every month. Which is why, left to me, mm. I would say it's compulsory mm. <laughs> that everyone should do something about planning their estate. Wow. I can't even imagine it. That the father was clamoring for his daughter. Yes. It's on Nigeria. It's on African. But mm. that's what we, we found. Wow. And lots of other things happened. For instance, we had another case. There are many of them. In this case, a couple builds their estate together. Mm. Joint estate. Mm. Though in the name of the husband... Then, after many years, the man died. Before he was buried, these younger siblings of her husband swooped in on the property and just dispossessed her of everything. She didn't leave a will. No will. No will. I see a, a lot of that. And then the woman says, what are you talking about? I, we built this together. My mm. husband and I did all of this together. And you all know it. They said, mm. no, tradition comes first. Wow. 
So what do we do when tradition precedes the will? Is it possible for tradition to precede the will? You see, if you have a will, you are excluding tradition. Okay. If you have a will, you exclude tradition. Then, you see, when we do your will for you, as you fill in our questionnaire, mm. we design what best suits your situation, okay. which is why full disclosure is important. Mm. It's like going to your doctor. Mm. You had better I just divulge <laughs> everything. <laughs> yes, everything about you, yeah. material to the case in issue. Yeah. Don't hide anything. So when you tell, when we know you have a complex family scenario, mm. then we know how to customize your will. Yeah. It may not even be a will. We could decide, no, no, no. In your case, we won't do your will. You're going to, do, you're going to make an intervivor's gift. An intervivor's gift is the one you make in your lifetime. Mm. You make the gift in your lifetime so nobody can come after it when you are gone. Mm. Depending on your scenario. So we look at each person's situation and customize what is best for you. For that person. What are some factors that can affect your will? Many. Um, for instance, if, if um, the individual is not of sound mind, mm. He cannot, he's not in a position to make a will. And who can contest that? Even if I'll, I'll give you life scenarios. Um, in one case, two daughters came with their father to this office and um, they wanted us to draft him a will. And they were saying, okay, so daddy, um, this is the lawyer, the, you know, the property you have here and there, we're going to put it together. And he said, oh, really? Which property? You'd be amazed that dementia had set in. Dementia had set in and he could not remember anything. It was so bad that when his wife died and he saw the picture of his wife, he said, she looks familiar. Wow. That's what happens when a person, though alive, hmm. is There's not really there, there anymore. No yes. So the earlier we did this, the better. the better. And it's not a function of age. Hmm. It's something you do as soon as you start earning a salary. Hmm. I have a will, for instance. Hmm. I'm female. That's another issue that yes. some people have. Some people, no, no, no. Why should a female have? I have property mm. in my name. Mm. I believe it is mandatory. It is advised for a woman to have some property of her own. Because of the climb we have found ourselves in. We're not talking now about unfaithfulness of husbands mm -hmm. alone. That's not mm -hmm. even the issue. Mm -hmm. But what about the, the extended family? Mm. But if it is your property, then nobody can come for it. Yes. So for that reason, I strongly advise that a woman should have property. And for those who are Christians, it's, it's actually supported by scripture that a woman should own property. Mm -hmm. If you go to Proverbs chapter 31, mm -hmm. it talks about the, 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 the Proverbs 31 yeah, woman. The woman. Yes. yes, it says that woman considereth a field mm -hmm. and buyeth it. A woman should own property because you don't want you don't want uh, embarrassment. Mm. Some people have been so they are so shocked at what they've had to contend with when the family who you have fed you know, and supported. clothed and supported mm. now turn against you because of possessions. Mm. Therefore, everyone should be smart about mm. it.